Hello friends, welcome to Power BI World. In today's video, we will create a very simple visualization in Power BI that is pie chart and a donut chart. Okay, so what is a pie chart and a donut chart in Power BI and why they are used? So pie chart and donut chart are used to show the contribution of items to overall total. If I want to show the profit by its category or what is the contribution of that profit by the category to the overall total, we can use either pie chart or a donut chart into Power BI. Okay. So visuals are the end results of any business intelligence report dashboard that we create and Power BI has all sorts of visuals and limitless way to customize them okay so let's see how we can create a simple pie chart and a donut chart into Power BI desktop so let's go to the Power BI desktop okay so I am into Power BI desktop and you can see there are total six visualizations on the on this page the first three charts are your pie charts and the second three charts are your donut charts okay the visuals the visuals that appears are a bit different however the end results are the same okay so let's see how we can create this pie charts and a donut charts in power bi okay so let me click on to a new page and here on the visualization part you can see a pie chart and a donut chart which are next to each other so what we will do is we will create a pie chart first with the total profit by segment or categories that we want okay so let's see let's click on this pie chart once i click on the pie chart it will give me this option okay so what it is saying here is select or drag the fields to populate the visual so let let's see i want the total profit by uh segment so let's take this segment and drop into this visual okay and let me take the profit value and drop it here okay so if you see what had happened here is it has created a pie chart which shows me the percentage or the contribution of the segments to the overall total okay so I have three segments, which is home office, I have consumer and I have corporate. Okay, so you can see the contribution of each segments to overall total is reflecting here. Okay, so this is the very first step that we have created. Let's let's go and do some formatting to this. Let's say let me, uh, now it's giving me the legends or it's giving me the segment name what it is so if i want to add some legends to it i can just click on the legends it will still give me the same thing as which color belongs to which segment if you want you can keep this okay and whatever from here you can just go and position the legend wherever you want so let me take it to the bottom okay and the title the title is nothing but the name of the category that we have taken segment so whether you want to keep that segment you can keep this title as on if you don't want to keep the segment you can keep it as off so for now i don't need this i will just click on off so the segment name so the segment name is gone from the legend okay okay so if there are various colors we can have data colors as well so whichever if you want to change some colors you can just go and change the colors whichever colors you want so as of now i will just change the color and this is how it will look like okay you also have the detail label so if you want to add the data labels you can add the data labels you can change the color of the data labels whichever colors you want you can add them what about the display units how you want the unit to be displayed okay so this is how you can display the units if you want we can just increase the size ok 
okay so let's take the data value and it is giving me the label now these are the categories that we have selected okay so it will just show me the categories like which category which colors belong to okay so i don't want the categories i want the data value so i can just go and select the data value so it will give me the overall uh, profit for that particular segment and totally it depends upon the units that you display so now as of now if i select an auto it will give me this unit if i select as none it will give me the entire numbers how much profit that particular segment has done okay if i want to keep it in thousand i can keep that in thousands i can if you if i want that to be in millions i can keep that in millions billions and trillions as well okay so for now we will just keep this in thousands so i am getting what i want but instead of this i also want the percentage of the contribution that particular segment is making so i have the option here percent of total so if i select here percent of total it will just give me the total and the amount or the uh, value will be vanished okay so you see it is showing me just the contribution but i want the amount the value and the contribution both so i have an option which says data value and percentage of total if i select this it will give me the data value what is the total value and what is the total contribution of that particular value and if i select all detail it will also give me the segment name okay it's giving me the segment name the total value and the percentage of that particular uh and the percentage of that segment to what it has contributed so it is giving me all three details like consumer which is which is the segment what is the total value of that particular segment and what is the percentage contribution of that segment okay so this is how you can change the labels onto your pie chart you have the title so now the title is on so you will be able to see the title if you see here you can see the profit by segment is what title name is the color of that particular is gray let me change it to black so you will be able to see that clearly let me also increase the font size for it so you can see i am increasing the font size and it is giving me the profit by segment now if i want to change the title of the text i can do it from here itself so let me say uh let me put this as a uh, segment itself just to give you an example so you can see i have changed the title text so it is just showing me a segment which i have typed here okay you can change the color of that segment you can also align that uh title whether you want it to be aligned into the center you want to align that into left right wherever you want you can align that title as well okay similarly we have the background option as well you can select and change the background with whichever color you want so let's take this as a black for now or uh, let's take this something else so this is how you can change the background if you want to increase or decrease the transparency of the color that you have added you can make the changes from here you have you can add the borders as well so if you see i can just if i click on border the black color border is been added you can see this the black border is added if i want to change the border i can again go to the format go to the border change the color of the border from a black to something like olive and if i want the border corners to be rounded i can just give any of the radius size and this is how your border will look like okay so a lot many options to format your uh, charts or the way you want to format you can do it you can decorate your charts the way you want so just select the chart and go to the format format tab option and then you can uh, give or uh, decorate the chart the way you want okay so this is how we can create a pie chart this is a very basic pie chart we have created so let's create a donate chart in a similar way what we have to do is just go to the donate chart 
click on the donate chart sorry i'll go back to the pie chart so what happened here is if the chart is selected here if your visuals if your visuals are selected here and if you go and select any of the charts here the vi the visual that is selected will change to another visual you can see this the visual is changing from a pie chart to a donut chart okay so what we have to do is before creating any new visual what we have to do is click outside the box and click on the visual that we want to create so now we want to create the do donut chart we will just click on donut chart let's bring this to donut chart here increase the size of it okay now what i want is i want to create the sales by category so let me take this category and drop it here and let me take the sales and drop it here okay so you see what had happened is it, it has created a donate chart with the category and it is giving us the category names here similarly the way we have created for pie chart okay so again if you want to format this chart donate chart go to this select the donate chart and go to the format tab format the way we want okay uh, we will directly go to the detail labels and here in the category we will take all detail labels change the color to a black color which will give me a few details and take the values are in thousands okay so this is how your donate chart will look like if you want to change the title color you can go to the title select the font color that's done if i want to bring that in center i can do it increase the font size as well okay so this is how we can create the simple visualization into power bi hope you like this video please comment below and subscribe to my channel have a great day